What's up guys, Rudalinal here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial, and uh, we're still taking a look at the Sys module. And alright, in the last video we were actually taking a look at um, what sort of variable or what sort of uh, piece of data we could look at that would let us know what sort of um, operating system we were running. And that's going to be really handy when we're writing like big projects or like a game or something or a program that really kind of depends on a certain system to be able to operate. Now typically we just be able to check that through like a conditional statement. I'm sure you guys can probably piece together why we would need that and how it's going to be so useful. But Windows is a completely different animal because I mean that's got all these crazy different uh, different kinds of operating system. There's the Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 2000, yada yada yada. Now most people are probably probably on maybe Windows XP, maybe Windows Vista, and maybe Windows 7. Maybe even Windows 8 at this point, I don't know. I could be speaking about the future and completely creating a time warp, but whatever. So, in Python, we've got this handy-dandy function with the Sys module that uh, actually gets the Windows version for us. And that's what we're going to be looking at. We're actually going to be looking at Sys get Windows version. And uh, that is a function, and you can check out here if we get inside the parentheses and use our control backslash, we can see that we don't actually have any parentheses, so uh, that's pretty sick. Let's go ahead and run this pretty quickly, and we get returned this uh, funky thing here, sys get windows version major equals 6, minor equals 1. What? What the heck is this? So uh, that kind of leaves us with some uh, some room for doubt. What we're going to want to do is check out what the heck we can do here. I'm going to go ahead and open up a f uh, web browser. And I'm actually going to break out of Windows. I'm going to hop back into Linux. And I'm going to use Firefox. And I'm actually going to turn that back to normal. And if we get over to Google as usual, we're going to want to check out... Wow, I keep doing that. Stupid Python. <laughs> we're going to want to check out that uh, actual function get windows version did I get that right? oh did I look at the uh... no I was still looking at sys no I looked at OS my bad got a little bit ahead of myself and started thinking about a completely different module <laughs> alright so Here's a, a little bit of information. What this will do is it will return a name tuple describing the Windows version that's currently running. And we know that we're on Windows, at least I know I'm on Windows. If you aren't sure of that, you could just check out the, uh, the platform variable. But in this case, it's going to give us some information. So here's what we're actually taking a look at. Um, major, uh, the named elements here are major, minor, build, platform, service pack, service pack minor, service pack major, yada yada yada. But anyway, service pack contains a string while all the other vari values are integers. The components can be accessed by name, so sys get windows version 0 is equivalent to sys windows version dot major. For compatibility with prior versions, only the first five elements are retrievable by indexing. So, um, platform, maybe any of these things, and platform was, uh, I think, one, two, three, four, we can subtract one from that, so there was three, three can be any of these, and that's what we'll check out here if we get back over to our windows, sys dot, get windows version, and we use the index, I believe, of three, and that's going to be our platform, platform equals two, good, that works up right up there and checks, so platform equals two, version platform we can check that over here that's going to be windows nt 2000 xp or x64 so anything that's nt or new technology the latest uh, file system type for windows that's going to be like xp vista windows 7 yada 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 that's going to be uh, second here so this is what we can do to actually test whether or not um, what sort of version of Windows we're going to be on. We're going to need to use this resource to actually know the uh, sort of like the string or the actual textual version of what it is, just so we aren't going off the basis of a, a number, because this zero doesn't really tell us that we're on Windows 3.1. We're going to have to know as programmers that that actually means Windows 3.1. It'll be a good idea to get these numbers and get these sort of values in your head so you know what we're working on. Now, product type. Uh, product type, sorry, I can even give you more information. And uh, product type, it looks like that doesn't get into it because it's uh, 
not part of anything else. But those numbers will actually tell you whether or not it's a workstation like a typical computer, or maybe it's a server or a domain controller. So those are all very handy like information and pieces of knowledge that we, we want to be able to know. But of course, this is only available in Windows. If you tried to run this function, you know, get Windows version in Linux, it'd just be dumb. You wouldn't get anything. So uh, this is a good function to know and have and sort of be able to use if you're working in Windows. Because maybe some things you'd want to run from the command line, and maybe there's some differences between, you know, uh, functions and programs and files and stuff between Windows XP and Windows 7. Like, I know for a fact that the edit program, MSDOS Edit, that's not available in Windows 7, or like, I don't think it's even available in Windows Vista. But it is available in XP, and uh, it's a really handy text editor to use the command line from there. So you really might want to know, or at least have a better idea, of what Windows version you're running. And uh, anyway, that can make you a better programmer in the long run. So uh, thanks for watching, though, guys. This one's pretty quick, pretty simple. I just wanted to get over and like sort of let you guys know all these numbers and sort of syntax things that mean a specific thing. It's just a matter of getting to know what they actually do represent and, uh, you know, the nomenclature and all that crap. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, though. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. And uh, stay beautiful.